वेलकम अगेन फॉर अनदर वीडियो टुडे द डिस्कशन टॉपिक इज प्लग फ्लो रिएक्टर्स इन द एंड ऑफ दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू विल हैव द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ प्लग फ्लो रिएक्टर्स यू विल लर्न हाउ टू डेरिवेट द मोल बैलेंस इक्वेशन अराउंड द प्लग फ्लो रिएक्टर्स एंड देन यू विल लर्न हाउ टू सिमुलेट प्लग फ्लो रिएक्टर इन डी डब्ल्यू सी एम सॉफ्टवेयर टू फाइंड a volume of a reactor for the given conversion of a reactant okay so let's have the basic background of plug flow reactors uh, these reactors are also called as tubular reactors you can see here in a picture in which reactants are continuously uh, entered uh, into the reactor and the products are continuously leaving from the reactor uh, in plug flow reactors uh, the reaction reactant concentration are continuously changing along the length of the reactor as the reactants are uh, converting into the product due to the uh, reaction and uh, along the length of the reactor the concentration of the reactant you can see is continuously decreasing on the other hand the concentration of the products are continuously increasing along the length of a, a reactor so there is in in plug flow reactor there is no mixing of the uh, reactants along the x axis or along the length of the reactor but there could be a lateral mixing or radial mixing in infinitely small volumes that are also called as plugs okay so this is the basic uh, information regarding plug flow reactors so let's have the mole balance uh, around the plug flow reactors so here is the general uh, mole balance equation that is the input minus output plus generation that is equivalent to the accumulation so in case of uh, uh, a plug flow reactor so a is a react reactant or a chemical species uh, that is entering into the uh, reactor so fa not is the molar flow rate of species a that is entering into the reactor fa is the molar flow rate of species coming out of the reactor and the generation term is equal to the rate of reaction uh, the integral of the volume why because here if you see the rate of reaction is not constant for throughout the reactant because rate of reaction is usually dependent on the reactant concentration and the reactant concentration is decreasing along the length of the uh, reactor so the rate of reaction will also follow the same trend like the reactant concentration so that's why we have to take uh, this term on the other hand the accumulation is total number of change of species a with respect to time the uh, with respect to time that is uh, accumulating inside the reactor okay but if the reaction is happening at steady state condition then this term is equal to zero because there is no accumulation and the general uh, mole balance equation for plug flow reactor is this one but from this equation we cannot have much useful information because we have to solve this integral uh, to to have uh, some valuable information regarding the uh, volume of the reactant Uh, sorry volume of the reactor so how we can uh, uh, d uh, move further to have the volume of a reactor using this equation for that let's consider this figure so this is the plug flow reactor and we are selecting a very small uh, infinitely small volume uh, of uh, of this reactor uh, that here this is the uh, entrance to this volume and this is the leaving boundary of this volume and we are applying to the 
small balance only this small volume so uh, molar flow that is entering molar flow that is leaving of a component a and the generation the rate of reaction multiply the total volume of the small volume that is equal to zero so if i apply if i apply the limit as the volume approaching to the zero that is very 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 small then i can write this equation in the uh, 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 differential form and the rate of reaction would be equal to in the differential equation form that is dfa over dv into the uh, rate of reaction now from this equation we can integrate it with respect to the volume and then we will have the final equation to calculate the volume of a plug flow reactor so this is the general mole balance uh, derivation for plug flow reactors now it's time to uh, use this knowledge to solve a problem that is given here so the cis 2 butene to 2 trans 2 butene is a homogeneous irreversible uh, isomerization reaction with the first order reaction kinetics and uh, the rate of reaction uh, uh, data is given here so we have to calculate a reactor volume that is required to achieve 95 percent reaction conversion or the reactant conversion that is the cis butene to trans butene so we are going to assume that the operation is steady state and uh, we are using single tube reactor with the length of one meter so the feed stream is uh, only cis butene with the flow rate of 100 kg mole per hour at 12 bar pressure and 25 degree c temperature so this is the uh, problem that we are going to solve in dw sim let's move to dw sim to solve this problem well now we are in dw sim so just start a new steady state simulation okay press next right here cis 2 select cis 2 butene and then trans 2 and then trans 2 butene go to the next from here select nrtl as a property package go to next and take c5 as a system of units and then finish okay so now the next task is we have to define reaction okay so this is a new thing that i did not uh, describe in previous tutorials for that just press this button settings and from here click on reactions and from here just press on this plus button and select kinetic okay now this new window will appear so the cis tube butene and trans tube butene both are involved in reactions and which one is our base component that is cis tube butene and uh, the stoichiometry coefficient cis tube butene is reactant so i am writing minus one and the trans tube butene is product so i am writing plus one and the reaction is irreversible first order reaction so for the 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 forward order is one is first order and the others i am just leaving like this okay so the the above information is now okay so let's move here the kinetic reaction parameters the basis are concentration molar concentrations and the phase is liquid and the temperature range we can extend up till 3000 kelvin and the last thing here 
the velocity constant or the rate constant uh, for uh, uh, for this reaction we have to specify it here and uh, the value is 0 0.003833 so i'm just going to put 0 0.003833 okay and then press enter so we have to define the unit of this velocity unit the units are k mole per cubic meter per second because the concentration units are k mole per cubic meter and this the the unit of uh, k are given in per second so we will take like this okay so after defining the reaction set just press ok now the reaction is uh, uh, reaction is completely defined okay so now it's time to construct the flow sheet just take a material stream okay and click on it change its name to feed press enter and uh, the temperature is 25 degrees C. that is okay and the pressure we need 12 bar 100 k mole per hour so 12 bar and um, the molar flow is 100 kilo mole per hour okay and uh, the compound uh, amount it is given in mole fraction and the the feed is purely uh, cis tubutene and uh, trans tubutene is not present just press accept changes so the feed is completely defined okay now go to the reactors uh, select plug flow reactor drag it here click on it and connect feed as a uh, feed and uh, create outlet stream create energy stream okay and uh, maybe i can say it product okay so now click on the reactor and uh, the default set the reaction set is the default set that we already specified in in the starting step the calculation mode is adiabatic first we will calculate at isothermal or isothermic mode and then i will show you how we can uh, 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 change it from isothermic to adiabatic and which parameters are going to be changed okay so to start for uh, for uh, to, uh, to to okay now to convert this uh, uh, simulation i am just taking a gas value of a uh, reactor volume okay so just i am taking 0 0.5 cubic meter and press enter so the the problem has been solved now let's go to this result section and go to the conversion so here you can see the conversion is 52.95 so for reactor volume of 0 0.5 the conversion is 52 point uh, almost 53 percent but in problem statement it is asked that we have to find the reactor volume for 95 percent conversion so how we can do that for that just go to the logical operation select a control block and drag it into the flow sheet okay just click on this adjust function and the man uh, go to this uh, window and uh, select manipulated object as a plug flow reactor and manipulated property is the volume of the plug flow reactor and control object is also plug flow reactor and the control property is the cis butene conversion okay so what is the conversion value that we need is 92 okay so press enter so 
before solving uh, the adjust function just uh, disable this uh, function uh, disable the solver and then come back here and click on converge solve with the flow sheet solver click on it then again click on the plug flow reactor and now you can have a look here in the conversion it's 52 and the reactor volume it's 0 0.5 okay now everything is uh, specified just press f5 and solve this problem okay the flow sheet is being uh, calculated and uh, let's see after maybe some time we will have results now you can see the simulation is finally converged and you can see here in reactor volume tab and the conversion initially it was around 52 percent conversion and the reactor volume that we give as an initial gas was 0 0.5 now for 90 percent conversion of cis tube butene uh, to to trans to butene the reactor volume that is required is 1.54 okay so now just have a uh, look on the results regarding the reactant concentrations along the length of the reactor and the product concentration for that come here into the reactor and then go to the results and from here go to the concentration profiles okay so right click on it and show in another window okay now you can see here that the cis tube butene concentration that is here it's continuously decreasing along the length of a reactor on the other hand the concentration of trans tube butene that is the product is its concentration is continuously increasing as it is being produced uh, due to the reaction along the length of a reactor this another thing here we can have a total pressure drop uh, in this uh, tubular reactor and uh, the mode of calculation is isothermic so that's why the there is no change in temperature okay but if i change the mode of uh, uh, calculation from isothermic to the adiabatic and then you will see that uh, the, the trend lines will be different for temperature okay well now the conversion is again done the simulation is done uh, in adiabatic mode of reacting reaction calculation so now let's uh, have the concentration profile graph into this bigger window so now you can see the temperature so here the temperature is continuously increasing uh, along the length of a reactor as the reactor uh, reaction is the exothermic reaction so this is the way how you can calculate uh, reactor volume plug flow reactor volume at the given uh, conversion of a reactant also you can play with the different calculation mode like adiabatic and isothermal i hope you like this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos like this in upcoming video we will discuss about uh, cstr continuous stirred tank reactors so until then uh, take care bye bye